Hello, I am Sikh Somrat. Today our discussion geodesic in a Schwarzschild space orbit equation for a planet. Okay. Before start this lecture, I recommended you to see my earlier video, the Schwarzschild solution of Einstein field equation. Please see that. Now the geodesic equation. We know that geodesic equation d square d square x mu per d a square plus gamma mu nu rho dx mu ds dx rho ds equal to zero, where gamma mu nu rho it is a Christoffel symbol, and this is the geodesic equation. Uh, earlier video the solution of Einstein field equation we know the alpha dot equal to beta dot we set alpha dot equal to beta dot equal to zero okay earlier video we use dot means d part dt but here we dot means d part ds for simplicity now now consider a geodesic passing through a point p of r theta phi outside a spherical gravity body let the point P lie on the equatorial plane. We know that equatorial plane theta equal to pi part 2, theta at 90 degree. Now, setting mu equal to t in the geodesic equation, setting mu equal to t in the geodesic equation, and we have t dot dot plus gamma t nu rho dx nu ds dx rho ds equal to 0 where dot means d part ds okay using d alpha dt d beta dt equal to 0 dot mean d part ds now um, we know gamma t a t r equal to alpha prime part Two, where prime means d part dr okay now t dot dot plus alpha prime t dot r dot okay here um, here the notation is mu nu we interchange the mu nu mu nu one nu is r and rho is t and another nu is t rho is r then the two factor arise and two factor cancel each other and we have t dot dot plus alpha prime t dot r dot equal to zero we show the next now setting mu equal to r r dot dot plus gamma r nu rho dx nu ds dx rho ds equal to zero now r dot dot we set gamma r t t both nu and rho equal to t equal to t then we have and we have dt per ds dt per ds plus gamma r r r we set nu and r equal nu and rho equal to r equal to r then we have another term and nu equal to phi rho equal to phi then we have another term now we have r dot dot plus c square divided 2 e to the power alpha minus beta alpha prime dt part ds dt part ds plus beta prime divided 2 dr ds dr ds minus r e to the power minus beta sine square pi part 2 we set the plane is equatorial so theta is pi part 2 now d theta phi ds d theta phi ds i we know that sine pi part 2 equal to 1 now use alpha of r plus beta of r equal to 0 to eliminating to eliminate beta of r equal to 0 then we have whole equation in terms of alpha then r dot dot equal to c square divided 2 e to the power 2 alpha r alpha prime t dot whole square minus alpha alpha prime r dot whole square minus r e to the power alpha of r phi dot whole square equal to 0 now setting mu equal to phi then the geodesic equation 
सेम इक्वेटोरियल एंगल थे गलो पाई पार्ट टू देन वी हैव फाइ डट डट प्लस गामा फाइ न्यू रो डी एक्स न्यू डी एस डी एक्स रो डी एस इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वी हैव फाइ डट डट प्लस गामा फाइ आर रो फाइ आर डट फाइ डट एंड प्लस फाइ गामा फाइ फाइ आर आर डट फाइ डट इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ फाइ डट डट प्लस टू पार आर आर डट फाइ डट वेयर वी नो दैट गामा फाइ आर फाइ एंड गामा आर फाइ आर इक्वल टू गामा फाइ आर फाइ आर इक्वल टू वन पार आर एंड दिस इज द सेम देन टू फैक्टर एराइज इक्वल टू जीरो As the point lying in the equatorial plane, we know that theta equal to pi part two. So that theta dot, we differentiating any constant with respect to with respect to s, and then we have zero. And double differentiating with respect to s, we have zero. Theta dot equal to zero. Theta dot dot equal to zero. Here we uh, here I again say that dot means d part d s. Now, so on mu equal to phi, the geodesic can be written in the form mu equal to phi. We know that the mu equal to phi, and we have the equation d by d r r square phi dot. The whole term uh, inside the whole term used as a function, and inside in a derivative, and we have this term. Now, r square phi dot equal to r square d phi by d s equal to a is a constant, is a integral constant. We know that. Next by multiplying mu equal to t assumption with e to the power alpha power we have mu equal to t the geodesic equation and multiplying e to the power alpha power we have e to the power alpha t dot dot plus alpha prime t dot r, r dot e to the power alpha equal to zero. Now e to the power alpha t dot dot plus d alpha of r dr dr d d we this is the chain rule we say know that the in the differentiation this is the chain rule dr dr and t dot to the power alpha equal to zero and e to the power alpha t dot dot plus alpha dot t dot to the power alpha okay equal to zero then d by ds to the power alpha t dot equal to zero now we have in we have another term another leading term e to the power alpha of r t dot equal to b but b is a constant we integrating that and b is a integral constant okay now we know that mean square ski um, mean square ski four dimensional space time With curved space time, we know that d square equal to c square e to the power alpha d t square minus e to the power mi minus e to the power minus alpha d r square minus r of d phi square plus sine square theta d phi square. Now, one we divided both side with we divided both side with d s and we have one equal to c square e to the power alpha t dot square minus e to the power minus alpha r dot square minus r theta dot square sine square theta phi dot square. Now, dot means d part d s, and we know that we also know e to the power alpha equal to one minus two g m c square r. We derived that in earlier video uh, solution of Einstein field equation. Now, theta equal to pi part two, so sine theta equal to sine pi part equal to one. We know that so theta dot equal to zero, and in that upper equation, in that equation, pi dot equal to zero and sine square pi equal to one, and we have. C square e to the power alpha t dot square minus e to the power minus alpha r dot square minus r square phi dot square equal to one. Now, this is the equation, whole arrangement, and multiplying by e to the power alpha. Multiplying by e to the power alpha, this we have c square b square. We know that b c b square is e to the power alpha t dot. We derived that earlier, and so minus r dot square minus e to the power alpha r square phi dot square equal to e to the power alpha of r. And now e to the power alpha of r equal to one minus two g m c square r. C square b square minus r dot square minus of one minus two g m c square r r square phi dot square equal to one minus two g m part c square r or 
r dot square plus r square phi dot square minus 2 gm c square r equal to b square c square minus 1 plus 2 gm c square r phi dot square we insert the e to the power alpha value and we have and rearrange and we have and we know that r square phi dot equal to 1 to eliminate phi dot and we have the equation r dot square equal to r dot square plus a square per r square minus 2 gm c square r plus b square c square minus 1 plus 2 gm c square a square r cube now recalling the dot means d part ds let the multiplying by above equation ds part d phi square equal to 1 divided phi dot square equal to r to the power 4 a square this is we this term we see as before the uh, like term um, as newtonian central field equation now dr per d phi square plus r square minus 2 gm c square r cube a square equal to b square c square r to the power 4 a square minus r to the power 4 per a square plus 2 gm r per c square okay Now setting u equal to 1 per r. Now dr per d phi equal to minus 1 per u square du per dr. Differentiating with respect to um, phi r equal to 1 per u with respect to phi dr per d phi equal to minus 1 per u square du per d phi and we have du per d phi the whole square plus u square minus 2 gm per c square u square per u per a square equal to b square c square per a square minus 1 per a square plus 2 gm c square u cube now this equation this equation differentiating with respect to phi differentiating with respect to phi now differentiating with respect to phi and we have 2 du per d phi d square u d phi square plus 2u 1 minus 2gm c square a square du per d phi and this is a constant term this is a constant term and this is a constant term this is should be 0 then plus 2g 3gm per c square u square du per d phi now du for d phi not equal to 0 du for d phi not equal to 0 du for d phi not equal to 0 so we have d square u d phi square plus u equal to gm c square a square plus 3gm c square u square now for the flat mean square ski space time and newtonian according to newtonian mechanics we have only this term d square u d phi square plus u equal to gm c square a square gm c square a square okay the for flat mean square ski space time d square u d phi square plus u equal to gm c square a square Now, c square a square, we know that l square per m square to combine that and k equal to g m m, capital M and small m. So, we have d square u d phi square equal to d, d square u d phi square plus u equal to k m per l square plus 3 g m c square u square. Now, this is the on the right hand side, this is the extra term, this is the extra term, this is the general relativistic effect correction and this is the, this is not in the Newtonian equation of motion. Okay. Now, suppose the term g 3 gm c square u square first we solve that equation and so um, the method of the solving we have that suppose the term this is be neglected and then we have the term um, according to the new newtonian equation for flat mean square ski metric d square u 0 d phi square plus u equal to gm l square now the solution is u0 of phi k m l square 1 plus e cos phi where e is the eccentricity we know that for ellipse for parabola for hyperbola and for circle this is mini value now put that on d square u d phi square um, plus u put put this u0 value put this u0 value on that equation
now we have d square u d phi square plus u k m l square plus 3 g m c square k m l square tar of whole square 1 plus this is the whole square term mm, this is the whole square term u square term and u square term is 1 plus e in cos square phi plus 2 e cos phi okay now d square u d phi square plus u equal to km l square plus 3 gm c square km l square tar of whole square 1 plus 2 e cos phi plus e square part 2 1 plus cos of 2 phi we know that cos square phi equal to half gunitok half multiplied by 1 plus cos of 2 phi now we have u equal to u0 plus w u equal to u0 plus w so we have uh, is also be satisfied this equation d square w d phi square plus w d 3 gm part c square k square m square l to the power 4 1 plus 2 e cos phi plus e square part 2 1 plus cos of 2 phi now w of phi equal to 3 gm c square k square m square divided l to the power 4 1 plus e square divided 2 plus e phi sin phi minus e square 6 cos of 2 phi this is the solution of the w solve this is we written in w form and we solve that we get that equation we simply integrate that and we get that equation now e of phi equal to u0 of phi plus w of phi then we have k m l square on the we put the whole solution on that equation and we have k m l square 1 plus e cos phi plus 3 g m c square k square m square per l to the power 4 1 plus e square 2 plus e phi sin phi minus e square by 6 cos of 2 phi okay the whole solution of that equation the whole solution of that equation the whole solution this equation this is this equation this is the equation this is the einstein general relativity correction this is this is the newtonian equation and this is the correction and this solution is whole solution is is that now then this then this term approximately zero this term approximately zero so we have the term u of phi approximately km per l square 1 plus e cos phi plus e 3 gm c square k square m square l to the power of l, l to the power 4 phi sin phi okay this is the extra term for general relativistic correction Now we have k m l square of 1 plus e cos phi plus 3 g m c square k m per l square phi sin phi. We written in whole form that term, do these two terms inside them and we have, now we have k m l square k m l square 1 plus e cos of phi minus 3 g m per c square k m per l square phi. Now here is the tricks of mathematics and logic. We have cos of phi minus 3 gm per c square k m l square phi is um, cos of a minus b cos of a cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Now 3 gm per c square is a small term then this should be 1 cos of 3 gm per c square k m l square phi this approximately 1 and this term should be 5. This is the maximum term sine of 3 gm per c square km l square phi. This is the minimum and sine of phi equal to phi and cos of phi equal to 0 when phi is a minimum and when this phi is a minimum. So we have the term cos phi plus 3 gm c square km l square phi sine phi. we have in newtonian theory l square k m u naught phi equal to 1 plus e cos phi now in einstein theory l square k m 
e u of phi equal to 1 plus e cos of phi of 1 minus 3 gm c square k m l square now phi increase to phi plus 2 pi 1 minus 2 3 gm per c square k m l square we have we have cos of phi minus 1 minus 3 gm per c square k m l square and we have cos of phi plus 2 pi 1 minus 3 gm per c square k m l square and multiplied by 1 minus 2 gm per c square k m l square this should be 3 now cos of phi minus 3 gm per c square k m l square phi plus 2 pi okay in a, in a first century this is the term cos of phi minus 3 gm per c square k m l square phi Now the period of the motion is um, the period of the motion is 2 pi 1 minus 3 gm per c square km l square. Consequently, in the going one perihelion to the um, next, the radius of the vector swipe the angle not only 2 pi greater than 2 pi. This term is the term 2 pi 1 minus 3 gm per c square km l square. So that the perihelion advance at the rate of perihelion advance of the rate of perihelion advance perihelion advance of the rate of is delta equal to 2 pi 1 minus 3 gm per c square km l square minus 2 pi. We have this term. This is the very small term, and we the whole denominator we inside them upper, and we have only we have. 1 minus 3 gm c square k l m a k m l square this would be 1 plus 3 gm c square k m l square and multiply by 2 we have the term that 2 pi 2 pi 3 gm c square k m l square this is the correction delta term this is the delta term this is the perihelion perihelion advance at the rate of this is the perihelion correction Now, delta equal to 2 pi 3 gm per c square and, um, and this term and this term km km per l square should be written in from 1 divided 1 divided a 1 minus e square e is eccentricity and a is the radius of the planet. Now, radius radius of the a equal to l square k m 1 minus u square we know that now we have for mercury the breaking discovery for mercury m equal to m star m, m equal to m sun m sun this is the mass of the sun e is eccentricity of the mercury point two zero six. 0.206 and a is 57.8 kimi then the delta term is approximately 42.879 42.879 in a century this is the correction of delta now the observed value is the observed value is the observed value is the observed value is 5599 in a century for one century this is the 5599 for a century according to the newtonian for newtonian calculation we get 5557 5557 in a century but according to einstein newton plus the correction we have 5557 plus 42.879 approximately we have approximately we have 5599 in a century this is the ultimate discovering and proof of the general theory of relativity ultimate proof of the general theory of relativity this is the correction and this proves that the general theory of relativity is explain the planet of mercury the orbit of the mercury okay now 
we know we see the delta term for other planet for venus delta equal to 8.63 our earth delta equal to 3.84 mars delta equal to 1.35 jupiter delta equal to 0 0.06 per century this is the correction for and we have we that we finish that Okay, I think that helps. Oh